And this is how, when you do it right, you're gonna see immense results with this because you are thinking about the user. When you think about the user, Facebook likes you because all Facebook cares about is the user. Create a mindset you write your ads under, one that makes you want to defend your brand without being a jerk. It's far easier to work on your store, your products, your conversion rate, than it is to try and get your cost per click down, get your Facebook metrics up, because Facebook is volatile. Facebook will change, Facebook will keep adapting, it will get expensive, you'll struggle with competitors and all that kind of stuff, whereas the store is completely in your control. Basically because Facebook is a roller coaster. Uh, I see, you know, Facebook is up and down every day, it's up, down, left and sideways. Uh, you might have a, an ad or an ad set that does great today, then tomorrow it's crap, and the next day it's awesome, and, and the, the cycle repeats. Uh, so I wanted to, uh, to make a method that, uh, that would save you time uh, and kind of account for that volatility. If you do, or if you end up cutting more than half your ad sets just because they weren't profitable or whatever, um, make sure you add some more. You don't want to be below that half threshold. So if you started at 50, now you're down to like 20, at least throw like five more ad sets in there. Your brand always needs to be on the mind of the consumer because you want to create a lasting image. I would highly suggest find ways to be yourself, find ways to stand out, but be authentic in your imaging, be authentic in your copy, and be authentic in your offer to your customer and yourself. So now you've got the customer spreading the message as opposed to you solely going out and trying to cast a wide net and hope that some of those uh, people become your customers. Don't be selfish. I, I always say if your business makes less than a million dollars a year, you're selfish. The uh, more money that you make as a business, the more opportunity you create and the less selfish you actually are. The touch points are key, the trust is key, you're building the brand and now we're remarketing to them. Don't underestimate the value of having someone liking your page. Okay, one, free traffic, two, you can serve more ads to them. My sweet spot has always been white labeling. What I like about white labeling is it lets you use someone else's products to start with. How can you take what you've got already and repackage it just a little bit? How can you create a little bit different branding? You know, what niche can you create for it and then sell to that?